so this is our downloaded file to extract this you need uh, any compression software like a winrar 7 chat win g4 anyone if you don't have you simply search on google winrar simply search on google winrar download and click on winrar download and download the version whichever you like like a 64 bit or 32 bit whichever you like here once you download it then again come here and right click on and click extract to so extract all the files from this folder so it is extracting and wait a while while it will extract all the files it is depending upon the PC to PC and performance of your PC so all the files are extracted in this folder it is taking little time to show up this so these are the all the files and currently it looks like a very annoying we need to open it in RGIS so better you can rename also this folder like she will remember this image of a 10 March 2022 it is sometimes better to rename this folder so we have all the files in this folder now we need to make a stack of these files so start rjs arc map so it, it's opening now we are doing the pre-image processing this is a little heavy software this will take some time on some PC so I recommend to use a PC with a solid state drive in it so in this PC also have a solid state drive even that it is taking a time to open it so it's open cancel the window and here in this window we nothing need to do we go need to go to data management tool in the data management tool go to raster and raster processing and here is a one tool is written composite bands and double click it it is asking for the input rasters so click on a browse button and browse here you, your files has our files has in a crop by folder 10th march and in this folder even near infrared and red band is only required for the analysis but we just we cannot say the crop has a north signature in other band like crop has a signature in green band also it has a near infrared short wave infrared and blue band means if something is there it is reflecting something in all the bands so it is better for our model to take all the models to all the bands so select first one click shift button second third fourth fifth sixth and we are taking seven bands of this image so even it is not a mandatory to take all the seven bands if it is a case of a sentinel satellite you only need to take a very few bands like a 10 meter bands that is sufficient so it is a adding up meanwhile i will show you something else suppose we have a sentinel satellite so simply click on Google Sentinel Pants. So if you are going to use a Sentinel satellite like other than Landsat, so in the Sentinel you can note down this is a band 2 is a blue, band 3 is a 10 meter, it is a green, and band 4 is a red, and this is a visible near infrared band 10. So in the case of Sentinel, we only need to take this bands like a band 2, band 3, band 4 and 
band 8 so you can do the stacking in the same way composite band in the same way and do the all process which are we are going so this is in the case of a sentinel so our all bands are added in this tool click for a browse button let's say uh, we make a some folder here for this image like a satellite image of a raster data you can give a name of a your choice so double click on the folder we have created and give it a any name like uh, it's a image of uh, we are that one is using like uh, it is satellite image s a t c o m p means composite image means this is our main image and don't forget to give t i f extension it is mandatory the rtgs is also told you must give the extension of the file that you are going to save like a t4 tiff so we have a done it and click ok to process this data so in your rgs if a background processing is unable then this dialog box will not show so it is better to disable the background processing in rgs so that it will show everything whichever it is doing so it is not processing this image it will take a time depending on the computing power so processing is a uh, going on and you need to wait a while while the process is completed so it's again going on it may take a considerable time depending on the computing power so it is about to finish let's check it out so it is completed so this is our, how our image looks like so one thing more for the further process in your RPIS go on geo processing option and change few settings and click on geo processing options and disable this check mark enable background processing you must disable it and then RPIS will show everything that is processing so this is our image that is a processed so we can see in the infrared bands like a 5 4 and 3 this is a how it looks like in infrared bands sometimes this image will not clear in the all computers or pc or depending upon study area in that case if it does not looks like a clear you simply click on right click on image click properties and a click symbology and adjust the stretch it is a percentage clip and you may select the standard aviation until it looks like a clear so in standard aviation it looks like a something like that so it is up to you you the which method will show it a better and if all the method does not show correct so like standard aviation you can create histogram equalize like that so this is up to you whichever you think it is appear clear to you or you can further adjust the image contrast also so in this case it is a very clear in a percentage clip and if further it is not clear you can click on display and adjust the crop brightness contrast and that's all so let's say cancel it so our uh, next process is to cut our study area from this image and do the crop classification in the upcoming sections so let's continue the next task in the next video